This is a video about Visio 2010. It's a tutorial on the subject of themes, something that's uh, fairly new in Visio, uh, and to make your documents look uh, quite a bit better. We're going to start out here by going to a new document. So I'm going to pick a blank drawing. Zoom in a little bit on this. And uh, I'm going to start out by just putting some basic shapes uh, on here. Add a little bit of text. And we'll take a look at the shapes. And uh, I'm just going to add a little bit of text to them. And it uh, gave me some basic shapes. Now, uh, you might be doing any kind of a diagram here. And now I'm going to take the shapes and I'm going to uh, change the font size and Now, uh, these are pretty basic looking shapes. We're going to hit some fill colors. And this is sort of the default theme colors that we see in here right now. And I'm just going to uh, alternate these, uh, pick, pick one of each. And it's a pretty plain vanilla uh, looking document. And this is where we would. Uh, take a look at themes uh, in terms of making this uh, look a little bit better. So we go to the design tab, and here you'll see across here a whole bunch of different themes uh, like this, and now we've got a really wide variety. And as we go through these, uh, you can see the way that um, they are reflected on the appearance of this. Uh, document. So we can sort through here and find one that's got uh, some colors that look appealing, fits in with something we're thinking about. It's pretty dull. Okay. So I'm looking at, uh, I think I like that one. Now what this has done is uh, it's uh, selected a type style, it's uh, colored them, selected shading, and uh, it's also set a, a, a border type, a line style, and uh, all of these things which are part of the particular theme that we want here. Now what we can do with this theme, if it's not exactly what we had in mind, we can go to uh, colors and here we have uh, for the theme that we've chosen uh, any uh, we can choose any of the colors that, that are in here so in other words we maybe we're happy with the shapes with the corners and whatever but this gives us uh, an option of going through all these colors and picking the ones that we like and this is probably back where I was and that's where I was so I think I'm going to go, uh, do I want Technic or Trek? Uh, I would say, no, nah, I want Clarity. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for is Clarity. Now, also on those colors, we have the possibility of uh, going to uh, create new options. Uh, it's a little bit off here, but down towards the bottom is a create new theme colors. I'm going to click on that. And this gives me the option here of uh, actually choosing, you know, what all those things are going to be uh, in terms of uh, everything from fill pattern to the individual colors that are on there, the background color. And I'm going to name this um, special 
colors. And I'm going to choose one thing that's maybe a little different. Maybe for this accent right here, I'm going to choose to go with that. Apply. You can see how it changed the uh, this shape right here. And then I'm going to hit OK. And now we've uh, saved a uh, particular uh, custom uh, color set. And we do the same thing with effects. We can go here and it shows us all different kinds of shadows and not shadows. And you can see some of the shadows showing up, squares, stripes, pink stripes, uh, ray. So there's a lot of shadow types. I kind of like that uh, toy one right there. So now I think I'm going to go with that. Now, but even having picked that, I can still go back and create new theme effects based on this. And so I'm going to call this uh, special effects. And here I can go in and I can change the uh, style of the uh, font. And I'm going to go here to uh, pick something like pseudo. And then uh, on my uh, line, I can increase the weights of the line, which would show in the outside of these uh, shapes. And I think I'm just going to go to a broader background. We can see how that, how that looks. Corner rounding is OK. Let's make that line just even a little bit bigger. And fill. Uh, kind of like that. We have a pattern with a uh, gradient. Uh, no shadows. Uh, connectors we, we're not concerned about right now, but we could change the format of connectors. Okay, so now uh, we have that, you know, as I'm looking at this, you know, I'm thinking I, I'm not sure that I really exactly like that the size of that line around those shapes. So I go back here, go to special effects, which are shown here under custom, right click, edit, uh, go to line. And I'll back that off to where it was. And hit OK. And now I've edited that. Now, if I save this document, or if I save it as a template, or if I you know, open this and then put other, other stuff in it, I, I'll always have access to that custom um, design that I put there. Now, a couple of other features that we can add to this uh, document are backgrounds and uh, Nice touch. So this is a, a gradient background that I'm looking at right here. So I'm going to select that. It dresses it up a little bit. Move this over some. And then the other thing we can do is uh, borders and titles. And uh, got a number of options here. So I'm going to pick something. Yeah, that one's good. And this gives us. Uh, uh, something we can do here to shape the, uh, this up just a little bit more. Now, one trick uh, with adding uh, borders and titles is that we've added a background sheet. And if we want to change that title, and uh, we have to go to the background sheet. And then we go to text and click on that and hold the last key down. Now, we have the option of, of changing this um, and we'll go back and look at this from page one and uh, this is our uh, use of themes again we can go back and uh, recreate the same theme same color scheme and everything by going into the themes section and going to Click on here and we'll go to this document right here and it shows exactly you know what it is that, that we've got set up. We can go to colors, select custom, uh, fact select the, the custom, and so those are both exactly you know what it was that we uh, that we started with. So this is um, Visio 2010 themes, a uh, powerful tool and uh, very uh, useful for further uh, information go to uh
drinkinstructor.com.